strange and sad habiliment will I encounter with Andronicus and say I am revenge. Titans, I am come to talk with thee. <laughs> no, not a word. How can I grace my talk, wanting a hand to give it action? <laughs> Thou hast the odds of me, therefore no more. I'm not mad! I know thee well enough. Witness this wretched stump, witness these crimson lines, witness all sorrow that I know thee well for our proud Empress, mighty Tamerlane! Is not thy coming for my other hand? No, thou sad man. I am not Tamara. She is thy enemy and I thy friend. I am revenge! <gasps> Art thou revenge? <laughs> and art thou said to me to be a torment to mine enemies? I am. Therefore welcome me. Do me some service, ere I come to thee. Destroy, rape and murder them. These are my ministers, and come with me. Good Lord, how like the Empress sons they are. <laughs> and you the Empress. <laughs> But we worldly men have miserable mad mistaken eyes. This closing with his bits is lunacy. For now, he firmly takes me for revenge. I'll make him send for Lucius his son. See, he comes and I must ply my feet. How like the Empress and her sons you are! <laughs> well, are you fitted? Had you but a moor? <laughs> What wouldst thou have us do, Andronicus? Uh, show me a murderer, and I'll deal with him. Show me a villain that hath done rape, and I am sent to be avenged on him. Show me a thousand that have done thee wrong, and I will be revenged on them all. Look round about the wicked streets of Rome. When thou find'st a man that's thyself, stab him. <laughs> He's a murderer. Stab him! He's a ravisher! And in the Empress' court, there is a queen attended by a moor. Well, should thou know her? For up and down she doth resemble thee. I pray thee, do on them some violent death. They have been violent to me and mine. Well hast thou lessened us. This shall we do. But would it please thee, good Andronicus, to send for Lucius, thy thrice valiant son, and bid him come banquet at thy house? Marcus, my brother, tis sad Titus calls. Go, gentle Marcus, to thy nephew Lucius, bid him encamp his soldiers where they are. Tell him the emperor and the empress too feast at my house, and he shall feast with them. This will I do, and soon return again. <laughs> now will I hence about thy business, and take my ministers along with me. Nay, nay, let rape and murder stay with me. <laughs> what say you, boys? You abide with him. Yield to his humour, smooth and speak him fair, and tarry with him till I turn again. I knew them all, though they suppose me mad, and will overreach them in their own devices. A pair of cursed hellhounds, and they're damned. Departed, pleasure, madam. Leave us here. Farewell, Andronicus. <laughs> Revenge now goes to lay a complot to betray thy foes. I know thou dost. <laughs> Sweet revenge. Farewell. <laughs> Tell us, old man, how shall we be employed? I have work enough for you to do. Publius, come hither. What 
is your will. Know you these two? The Empress sons, I take them. <laughs> Chiron, Demetrius. Fie, fie. Thou art too much deceived. The one is rape and murders the other's name. Therefore, bind them, lay hands on them, and stop their mouths if they begin to cry. Stop there, we are the Empress sons. And therefore, oh, we are we are commanded. Oh, oh, to death. My hand cut off and made a many jest. Both her sweet hands, her tongue, and that more dear than hands or tongue, her spotless chastity! <laughs> what would you say if I should let you speak? <laughs> Villains! For shame you couldn't beg for grace! Hark, wretches, how I mean to martyr you. This one hand yet is left to cut your throats, whilst Lavinia, between her stumps, doth hold the basin that receives your guilty blood. Ha! Shameful heads! This is the feast that I have been unto! Oh! 